Ava Chris Tyson situation is disgusting. Let's get ready to the video. Today's video is about Dr. Chris Respect, aka Ava. Mr. Beast recently became okay. the largest channel on YouTube with over 300,000 subscribers, and he's been YouTube's golden man, golden boy, whatever, for quite some time. Every single video he puts out gets millions of views oh, in boy. seconds. It's crazy. No, and yeah, no. Nah. Beat my head against a fing wall. Okay, guys? The fact that this happens is because the man is incredibly brand friendly and it's a very kind of corporate. Uh, they did the Squid Games on their own. It's a very big, new, high production value thing that is kind of the antithesis of old YouTube. And in spite of the content sort of being the antithesis of old YouTube, YouTube still looks at it extremely favorably. Every brand wants to do a deal with Mr. Beast. He's the golden boy. Like, it's, he is the golden boy. Yeah, doing no, thank over you. 200 million views. In the first 30 days, the average video right now does 140 million views. The first 30, and then the first year does like 220. Throughout his career on what YouTube, the, the man fuck? has had a list, a rotating cast of friends and characters that appear in his videos, but only a few have remained loyal. We've got Jake the Viking, he dropped out real quick. Also, Sneeko. Sneeko was also a part of Mr. Beast's crew for a little while. I do not like Sneeko at all. I hate Sneeko, actually. And no, Sneeko thanks. is on Twitter right now, bitching at people for not covering the Ava Tyson story. Where is the consistency? When are you going to go and disavow Chris and Mr. Beast? You have way more information. You actually have the receipts. And you haven't said a word yet. Immediately, Dr. Ew. Good. Disgusting. Worst person ever. And a couple weeks ago, he was bitching about lowering the age okay. of consent. What do you think the age of consent should be? You want to be consistent. You don't think anything updates. Just tell us what you think it should be. I think it should be past the what added to the developed age. At a develop, what is a developed age? If you it's had to set a law age. for it, what well, would you well, set it? Well, what would you answer. set it about? You say it's a developed age. No, answer the question, you. F Holy shit, you're such a cowardly. F the internet is terrible with all this kind of stuff, and I'm continuously trying to. Alright, alright, no, I mean. He started recording to show people what it means to start a business, but people were like, "What the hell?" Are Information. I mean, 18 is a good age, bro. 18 is a good age. It's like the the medium age, bro. Like it's a pretty good age to like you know what i'm saying to like because you know but by the time you're 18 bro you're mature bro by the time you're 18 you're mature enough to know what like all this shit is and you're mature enough to be able to like, consent you know what i'm saying actual factual stuff but, to put in front of you guys and cover these situations and stories as reluctantly as i possibly can because i hate this shit i don't like doing this i don't want to talk about these people anymore i hate these people i want them all to stop to make me feel better and to pull me out of this negative headspace for a little bit i'm gonna ask you all to do something for me go what? shower dot gg i don't really care if you types of videos but i don't care at this point i i do i don't like the internet anymore please go to sour dot gg has actual good but one of the people that has been in the Beast crew is Ava Tyson, the yep. Moon God, yeah, childhood the friends with Mr. Beat. And stuff has been coming out. A lot of stuff's been coming out. There has been some stuff that sort of was swept under the rug a couple months ago. And if all this stuff is true, this has massive implications, not only on Ava, obviously, yeah. as an internet dweller, but, but Mr. Mr. Beast, Beast too, as well. Too. The Mr. Beast Industrial Complex. And to compound this, adding to the situation, some former employees of... And what I did not get to, but I'm kind of starting to understand a little bit is like did mr beast know all this time like did he know like we don't know we don't know if he knew like of this shit behind the scenes we, we don't know if if the reason why he made ava leave is because of the fact that he um we don't know if he made ava leave just because of the fact that the internet found out and it would ruin his rep reputation if he let ava say we don't know bro we don't know we don't know Mr. Beast are coming out on Twitter alleging that Mr. Beast knew about this all along and knew from the very start of Ava's behavior that this was going on. My name is Dawson. I work at Mr. Beast from February to May of this year, 2024. Chris is the, the tip of the iceberg. Could this be the downfall of Mr. Beast's massive empire? Fuck no, Mr. Beast could not be canceled. Yeah, notable yeah, videos yeah. that have come out exposing Ava for similar acts that recently got dis 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 disrespect destroyed on the internet i guess just annihilated i mean the guy is probably going to come back but it's been pretty bad the only people who've been defending him are fools who are doing so because they're engaging in a culture war not because they are thinking about virtues and morals and doing what's right so what exactly are the claims that are being made how true are these claims i've got to make it very clear that right about now as soon as one allegation comes out 10 more 
Follow it immediately. Yeah, no, you facts. Get the first that is plane that hits the tower. The second plane, the third plane, followed by the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then consecutively so on and so forth. Facts. Come on, bro. Oh, it's really bad. We don't need to fucking hear that shit. Come on, man. Through this nonsense. The fuck is you doing? This information as concisely and quickly as I possibly can. While I try to figure out what's real and 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 just you know start to, I guess find out who. <sighs> Yeah, so anyways, a All Cheeto, right. a commentary YouTuber, put a video two days ago saying it's over for Chris Tyson. Adrox put a video out seven days ago titled, This Video Will Make You Hate Chris Tyson. Brion put a video out yesterday saying, Chris Tyson got caught talking to a minor, it's bad, parentheses, allegations. <laughs> that is such a f YouTube title, dude. I love it. And there's a lot more. If you just look at it, there will probably be many more by the time this video comes out. I try to put effort into the videos. Believe it or not, I know it's crazy. But yeah, it's, it's a, it's, it's, yeah. Anyways, we'll okay. move on. These videos go through Ava's past tweets, video appearances. Did Shout out to Shad Base for having fit for work drawing. Bro. Same email. Discord messages, Snapchat, engagements with other creators, oh, and cool. Professor oh, X's cool. device, Cerebro, was used to read her mind X-Men style, Big Chungus. First video that we looked through was Brion's video, and Brion was actually going through a video uploaded by a channel called Prism42. And you can see, basically, real time as this came out, other videos coming out, and it's being, everything's rabbit hole and there's spins oh, on every bro. single video. It's wild. There's a lot of misinformation about this one, and a lot of uh, true information as well, unfortunately which is kind of bad. And there's one person in particular, an individual called Lava, who is in these messages with Ava. The fellow goes by Lava GS. Lava is 20 years old now, but it all stems from years ago what the when Lava fuck? was underage, okay? By the way, Lava followed me at the point of all this stuff coming out and reached out asking if I wanted some clarification okay. on stuff very early on, I think yesterday or the day before when all this stuff started to really break. And uh, I got a lot of clarification from Lava. Lava is the supposed victim, by the way. So we have actual research done in this video. Lava right. was a longtime fan of Mr. Beast's claiming to have found Mr. Beast when he only had 500 subscribers. And at one point, Lava got a signed CSGO knife from Jimmy, which is pretty badass. Now, it makes sense that if Lava found the Krusty Crew in the, the Jimothy Beast channel back at 500 subs, that he'd be a known person in their fan base. And Lava yeah. even appeared in a Mr. Beast gaming video, uh, which you can see on his Twitter bio, but it has since been removed. Lava, Pluto, assemble! Hi, how are you? I need you to make this 10 times harder. How hard do you want it, Jimmy? Hard. So we have hey, exchanges between Lava and Ava that go back showing that they've interacted hey, with publicly. Leave it with hey, fucking yo, bro. That's A-Yo right there, bro. But let's read what we got right here. I really enjoy playing Fortnite. Would you guys want to watch me stream? Yes, 61%. No, 38%. Well, the people that are no, they're even sisters. Fuck this guy. Uh, but anyways, then we got, please stream again. Thanks, Dad. You want to moderate it? Hey, fucking yo! Bro, hey, bro, Chris, bro, we glad we got, we got your ass. We got your dumb ass. We got your dumb ass right there, bro. We got your ass was asked by Ava to be a moderator on her Twitch streams all the way back in 2018 when Lava was only 14 years old. And the interactions here aren't necessarily inappropriate, though the choice to call 14-year-old Lava dad is sort of interesting, I've got to say. Also, making a 14-year-old mod seems like a seems like a bad idea. I don't really know about that 100%. Yeah, that and, uh, Twitch mod, good. I don't know. Maybe Ava yeah. wasn't aware of Lava's... Uh, age at this point. I have no idea. It's just bizarre. Now, this is not illegal or something that can be f led to cancellation. This is yeah. just weird. Prison then goes through a lot more tweet exchanges between Chris. Lava GS underscore. Perfect timing. Lava. Holy shit. Chris, we accidentally predicted this. Uh, well, I don't, know. I the the picture. Showing I don't know what the picture interaction while Lava was underage. We 100% did video proof and all using that to prove a point we don't need to go over all of it there's plenty of other videos if you want to go really deep into that i think the interaction we just went over is probably enough we know that they were pretty close or close enough to interact publicly yeah, on like, twitter what the fuck? and uh, close enough for ava to trust lava to want to have him moderate the twitch and ava even gave lava a shout out in 2019 my friend at lava gs underscore is live on twitch go spam lobster in the chat 
into uh, oh, tell fuck. Them to people right, to go follow. How, how old was Chris at this point? I don't know, but he had to have been like at least 18, right? Twitch. This is where it gets a little bit more weird. Ava once tweeted that if she... Guys, we are so close to our goal. Oh my god. Oh me god. One more Patreon and I'm releasing my... Huh? Hit her Patreon goal, she'd release her... And Lava responded saying that he was Ava's first Patreon sub. That's weird. That's really weird. That's but weird. We do have For both parties. For it, luckily. He shows well, I mean, he's 14, so... Donated some money. He donated like a dollar or something. So it's not enough to meet the goal. And he says, but not five dollars. Pathetic. Just kidding. Kissy face. What the fuck? Yeah. That, this, this is the part that I have a problem with. Then the conversation supposed Check again. CC, CCAS, YT. I posted some fire news for you. Don't do that. What Supposedly ended with Ava saying, I posted some fire for you, please no share. This is like the thing that's been going massively viral on what? Twitter, by the way, uh, and that people are- Nah, bro. This shit is crazy. Yeah. Person then goes through a lot of Discord messages about going camp. I drove from West Virginia to NC. I'm sitting in a camper in the woods right now. Yes, Gracie. Really? Yes. I drove to from West Virginia. Uh, what the fuck? I sold him the camper there. I sent a pig, but I don't have pig print. Camping with oh, Ava in the middle of nowhere from a Discord server, supposedly belonging to Carl Jacob, one of the other Mr. Beast team guys, oh, where God, everyone is simping weird. over Carl, including Lava. It's very weird, but parasocial behavior isn't that uncommon in creator communities, and it's just kind of why oh, yeah, creator communities and these parasocial relationships have really evolved over the last couple years, and we can all now clearly see that it's just not appropriate, and it's not a good thing to do, really. I unless you have a very small channel, and there's like a lot of humility and just kind of evenness and transparency, I don't see it ever ending well for a creator Facts. with millions of followers or a lot of pull yeah, no, no, with their audience, fact, to be honest. I just, it's, it's weird. It's very strange. People in the comment section of the prison video are saying that Carl needs to be in, in, investigated next, and they asked why he was in the Discord in the first place, ignorant to the fact that it is his Discord, and unlike a deity, Carl is not omnipresent, omnipotent, and uh, whatever the other one is. <laughs> omnipresent, omnipotent. They try to catch Carl in this shit too? The fuck? Potent and omnipotent. I'd say Carl delete the server. Shit like this does more harm than actually good, to be honest. Back. Prism also calls back to a Snapchat that Ava sent to Lava in 2019 when Lava was 15 years old. It is Ava standing under an American flag oh, yeah, saying, snaps. for America. Kind of weird, to be honest. Yeah. You know, bizarre. Could be an, an innocuous bad taste joke not 100 percent sure and this yeah, is them meeting up in 2020 and one of the main points that prism brings up in this entire narrative is trying to show that ava groomed this guy because they met up in 2020 then prism says he's not going to dox lava then does dox lava we're not going to put this in the video i just thought that was kind of interesting to to read out there that's something i actually did that recently and i feel really bad about it i feel like a idiot and i'm formally apologizing a little bit the TikTok psychic video. That's yeah. why there's a bunch of blurs. This all came out, obviously, and Lava, being someone who edits videos and is on the internet still, responded to a lot of the claims that were coming out on Twitter. One response was a retweet of Keemstar talking about his conversation with Lava, where Lava denies being groomed by Chris and didn't... Mr. Beast connected me directly to Lava, the uh, alleged Chris Tyson groomed victim. Lava... I was not groomed by my by Chris Tyson, Lava, also Lava. I did not meet Chris Tyson by myself. I met I meet Chris and the Mr. Beast crew with my family present. Also Lava. I ran a Discord with Chris Tyson when I was 13, and edgy, inappropriate jokes were said. That's it. Meet Chris by himself, and his family was with him as well as when he was 13. He okay. ran a Discord with Chris where inappropriate jokes were said, and that's it. And that's his explanation there. Now, I'd like to point out from the side of the yeah. accused in the Dr. Disrespect situation, acknowledging that there were conversations with a yeah, minor thanks, that turned bro. inappropriate sometimes, potentially is all that it took for Dr. Disrespect to be canceled entirely. Yeah, okay, let's talk about this, bro. How come Dr. Disrespect is getting more hate than Ava, a.k.a. Chris Tyson. Now, 
They both should get the same amount of hate. They both were in the wrong. They both were extremely in the wrong. They should both be deplatformed. They both should be deplatformed. Facts. They both should not, not know just, oh, let's just take their money away. No, because there's other ways they can get money by streaming. You know, right? Um, they can put their cash app in. They can, there's a lot of shit they can do. Just deplatform them. Make them get a real fucking job, all right? Make them get a real fucking job. All right? That's what we need to do. But that situation is compounded by the legal aspects of it. It had to be bad for Twitch to get legally involved. It had to be bad for YouTube to deny giving Dr. Disrespect a contract. It had to be bad. So there is more context there with all this, but this is something that I would like to hear your guys' thoughts on. Where do you think this sits? With just this context of the situation so far, the Dr. Disrespect inappropriately messaging a minor thing, and then the Chris Tyson inappropriately messaging a minor, but then the minor coming out and saying that I was not groomed, and sure, there were inappropriate messages, but it's I was never in danger and not groomed, and I don't give a fuck, and neither should you. So I want to know your guys' thoughts on that. Lava has also tweeted several times. Can you guys help me counter all these lies? Chris's messages to me were sent in public Discord server slash groups. But everyone is framing it as if it was one-on-one. -on -one. Chris literally did nothing wrong. Chris did nothing wrong. What's actually disgusting is you guys twisting things and making me a victim saying that people are the twisting fuck? things to make him seem like a victim he is not a victim he says and these videos are massive lies and twisting the truth ava never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes i was never exploited or taken advantage of can you do me a favor and comment on these videos and tell tell them to stop spreading lies this situation takes away from children who are actually actively being exploited every day online. I am not a victim of anything being claimed in these videos or at all. And he asks for help countering right. the lies. The current pinned tweet for Lava, which says he is in no way a victim, currently has 80,000 likes, and he has images of the videos he's referring to as spreading misinformation about him. But the ones that he shows are from a Cheeto and Sensitive Society, whose videos are about something we'll be talking about very shortly and not the interactions between Lava and Ava at all. So oh, I asked Lava if he'd take this down and he's not sure he will. So that's up to him to do that, obviously, but he's aware that this is not true. You know, a lot of misinformation out there. Oh, no hate, sir. obviously. This is the real problem, this person, not anybody else. A lot of people are calling Lava a shill or paid off because he's defending Ava Tyson. Lava said, one more thing, IDK, how far you are talking about my side in your video, but it could mention that I have received zero from anyone and none of my socials are monetized i also am under no contracts with anyone no ndas or anything related some people are trying to claim this now so that's what lava said i believe lava also lava is very stern and that they are not a okay. victim in this situation but there's no doubt in my mind that the behavior exhibited by ava is bizarre and strange to say the least now back to prism the guy who made this video nicholas diorio in a tweet said that prism crossed the line by trying to make this video by faking a job interview to ambush lava so, the guy who made the Chris Tyson message to minors video faked a job interview to ambush the alleged victim and confront them. When questioned, he started comparing himself to Project Veritas. Apparently, EDP445 was contacted prior to upload as well with questions about okay. Ava, and Lava confirmed that this was true in a one-on-one -on -one with me, which is insane to do that. So that's sort of the general covering of the situation, but in DMs with Lava, I got some clarity on everything Prism stated in wow. this video. That sort of complicates things a bit further. That's why I've saved it until now, but everything should be out on the table. Everything that's been talked about needs to be aired out 110% and the truth needs to be made as clear as possible, guys. Lava talks about how he joined Discord back in 2016 and got pretty good at setting up Discord servers with bot. I want to start off by saying I am not a victim. I understand people may not agree with Ava slash Chris, but please do not use my name to attack them. I won a knife giveaway from Beast many years ago from a Call of Duty Black Ops live stream he was doing. This is how... I came into contact with the both of them. Chris owned the real life CSGO knife company, but it never went anywhere. In 2016, 
Discord launched and I was a 13 year old G mod kid who dark RP all day. Me and group, me and group of friends were using Curse Forge and did it like me. So eventually, we all downloaded Discord. I joined May 23, 2016. My Discord ID is Lava GS. Me and my, me and the group, and me and the, my group of friends at the time all started le learning about Discord and its bots and how to use it. We became pretty good at setting sub servers for people to use to video play games with their friends. I began advertising in my Discord bio that I could build Discords for people to just DM me. One of the people who wanted me to build them a server was Chris. So she started she invited me to a blank Discord and I just set up some bots for her and her friends at the time. They did not reach out to me in a predatory way. I stayed in the Discord because they were all pretty chill people. We played ton, a ton of Uno, CS:GO, Killing Floor 2, and just a, and just about any game that was popular at the time. Over time, my friendship with Chris and her friends grew because we were just gaming. Bots and how to use the app, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this was also he could set up servers to interact with his okay. friends, and communities, etc. Ava was one of the people who reached out asking for help setting up a server. So Lava did, but Ava never did or said anything predatory. And Lava stayed in the Discord because everyone was cool. They played games together, and over time they grew friendships. And after some time spent together gaming, things just blossomed, like the like just standard community type stuff. Lava then says that he was the first one to start making edgy jokes, and it was a time when that was. Pretty prevalent everywhere on the internet which we can all attest to things okay. have definitely calmed down over the last couple of years for sure 2016 was the wild west doesn't matter how old you were shit was crazy out there lava even shared screenshots of his dms with ava he also debunked some of the claims made by prism saying that the coming for america picture was sent in a group chat with ava's friend group and lava also reveals that there is also a picture going around from snapchat where it says coming for america it was sent in a group chat with these original friend he had with these original friends he had i was also in a, in the group chat and it was not sent to me personally it was taken in taking taken in a movie theater and i'm pretty sure the face he made was accidental and he can just captioned it that be fun to be funny Another tweet is showing of me replying and saying, does she know about your hentai collection? I personally am not a fan of anime. Also, a lot of my friends are, and I just say they're addicted to hentai because it's a funny sounding word, and there is nothing more to that. I was never or have ever been shown any form of 18 plus content by Chris. Then there's a section where someone is claiming I paid $5 for nudes. These nudes being referred to was a picture of a bowl of ramen and nude this even prior. Like this picture, I was also never charged because Patreon didn't take money until like the end of the month. At the interaction surrounding... So, are you telling me... Are you telling me that you paid for Chris's Patreon? That's... That's wild. That's a wild Chris word right there. Collection. That's a wild word right Stand there. Him making fun of his friends for being addicted to him. <laughs> because it's a funny word. But he was never shown any 18 up content by Ava. And Lava says that the he got from Ava were actually just a bowl of ramen noodles, which I think is pretty obvious uh, since Ava changed the word from in the original tweet to nudes N O O D S when talking directly to Lava about what was sent. It seems like it was a joke from the very beginning. Lava then goes in depth referring to the Discord conversation in Carl's server about going out into the middle of nowhere with Ava. This all stemmed from an annual camping trip to North Carolina that Lava used to go on and the place that they... They also talked about Lava going to the woods in the middle of nowhere with Chris. This is very far from the case. Every year my family goes camping in North Carolina at the same time. They are actually there at this time and I couldn't go because of my work. 
The campground we have been going for my entire life is roughly two hours away from the studio. At the time, I had been helping the, the Beast crew with some Minecraft videos remotely. We decided that since I would be so close to the studio that I could come work on site that day. I was there with uh, Beast and other employees of Beast. When I arrived, my my parents got out and met everyone who was there at the time. I believe it was Chris, Carl, and a few other employees. I then helped record three to four Minecraft videos and then my parents picked me up and I left. That is where the picture of me was taken with Carl and Chris. My parents were present during that picture. Here's a picture of our camper with the date I took it. It lines up with the screenshots of me talking about going there. You can see my father's leg, legs under front of the camper towards the tongue. Here's a picture of me in the camper at my desktop, at my, at my laptop, at the campground. You can see my Discord account logged in. It would go to is about two hours from the Mr. Beast okay, studio. Well, Sorry, Mr. Brad studio. It. And they took the time to go visit, and Lava was there with his parents, who also got to meet everyone. And, you know, that just kind of seems like a cool thing uh, outside of the context of what the f*** is going on right Thanks. now. It's like a fan meetup, whatever, that happens all the time. Since Lava had been helping with Minecraft videos remotely, while he was there, he helped record three or four more Minecraft videos and then left. This is where things get sort of kind of more bad when Lava starts talking about his interactions with Prism directly. So Prism reached out to Lava for an interview under the guise of it being for... The original guy for pr Prism who posted this story lied to me and told me I was being interviewed for an editing job with another creator who wishes to not be named. This creator was also lied to and taken advantage of. He was there because he wanted me to edit for us. The Priya Priya guy was spearheading it all. Spearheading it all. PAHD reached out to me many times in an attempt to pay me to do an interview. He had me in a Discord call and never once asked me for contest, even if I was okay with this going public. My name is Martin, and I would like to interview you. I want to interview an anime fan. I think it would be interesting because you work on the Mr. B server. I will even pay some compensation if you would like editing job for a creator that wished to remain anonymous he also offered compensation for the interview but supposedly never asked for the context regarding the i believe he purposely left out context and didn't ask me about anything because it would invalidate validate his statements if you have any questions or want even more context behind stuff i be more happy more than happy clever. the interactions between lava and ava or if it was okay to publish the video prism also didn't ask lava any questions that could invalidate the claims that he made in the video that makes it even worse i think when prism said he was going to keep lava anonymous then he shows his name and instagram page which lava has since had to private which is incredibly oh. unfortunate oh and wait let's not fuck, forget bro. we gotta wait till what ava has to say about all this guys let's see what ava has to say let's see what defense ava can come up with let's see if it's uh, a let's uh, see let's see let's apology. see let's We're see excellent at, at, at reading apologies on this channel if this was all that there was i feel like i would be able to take a very respectful approach and just you know this is a weird thing i'm probably yeah. not going to be that much of an ava fan from now on because it's super weird obviously very odd but the next bit of information that we have in my opinion is far worse and is for my mind incomprehensible okay come on lay down really us do this lay it's down us vaguely light recently, lay down apparently us. this has come out before i missed it uh that ava is a regular su supporter of the online artist that goes by the name of shadman this guy has a pretty bad Shad reputation face. he joined a swiss art school and was expelled because his art was so foul and considered illegal. He was even deemed a menace to society. How the fuck did that work? How do you get deemed a menace to society? Eventually, Shadman would go on to create his own website, which is no longer available, fortunately, where he would post his art and it could be you could you could you could buy you could buy some some of it, I guess. Shadman became very well known online for posting loot art, but what separated him from other NSFW artists is that he had no limit at all, which is 
bad, very bad. In 2011, he posted to his website an extremely lewd okay. NSFW art piece of his own mom, and that's when people sort of began to see how insane this guy actually is. A few years later, in 2016, Shadman was requested by a fan to draw key- The following part of the video, we were literally not even allowed to put in. The UVR manual reviewers told us we couldn't. It is about Keemstar and Shadman. If you want to learn about it, go look into it. Uh, Shadman is a bad, bad man. Uh, and, uh, yeah. What's insane is that despite this disgusting and awful reputation that Shadman has, and had for a long time, he still grew a fan base and Ava appeared to be one of his biggest fans. Before Ava deleted all of her tweets, it was apparent that she was a big fan that often interacted with Shadman on Twitter. You know, a bunch of other YouTubers have kind of been shown to be interacting with this freak ass, freak ass mother. Why? Why, dude? First, Ava publicly admitted- This is- coming from the guy who owns a shad base drawing and has it as a centerpiece in his living room. Admitted to owning a custom piece from Shadman and displaying it in her living room. By the way, credit for most of these tweets come from Adrox's video because they've been deleted. Uh, Ava completely scrubbed her entire Twitter. And I'm not sure if we can show this, but this is a tweet from Ava displaying the art that she got from Shadman. We can also confirm that Ava was very serious about the art because it can be seen in a video displayed on the wall. Even Jimmy T. Beast had it shown on the wall. Very strange. Very, very odd. Don't do that. Don't do that. This is sort of the That's beginning weird, of bro. Ava's bizarre and strange behavior on Twitter. From there, we have a tweet of Ava saying that they are disappointed no in Shadman for not trap. drawing Beast Boy Shad art. Teachers. Weird thing to say. Ava would also make some strange comments on a comic post in 2017, the comic detailed two characters from Gravity Falls, Maybell and Dipper, kissing. Already, oh, this is uh, an awful comic because those two characters are twin brother and sister. Oh, uh, hell no! Twins. So at this point, it just like misspelled incorrectly, and that's pretty gross. That's pretty disgusting to say. But that no, not someone should be annihilated from the internet from, obviously. But like when you have a pattern of behavior for an extended period of time and people repeatedly tell you how disgusting and weird you are and you keep on doing it, at that point it's like, oh, okay, maybe we have a problem here. Maybe we need to check the hodge wise. People say that jokingly all the time. I think this is a very valid valid point to, to do, to do that. Check the hard drives. Shadman and Ava Tyson, to be honest. In 2018, Ava would be seen tweeting that they found Violet Parr cute. Oh, Strange behavior. One of the, the biggest connections between Shadman and Ava occurred in 2019 when Ava accidentally went to Shadman's website and shouted him out on stream, showing her continued support for Shadman's work. During that same year, just a few months- A few tweets earlier, didn't she just say how weird it was to have Shadman, Shad, any of Shadman's painting, or arts as your centerpiece in your living room but then you you have it in your living room that's kind of weird bro that's really weird bro i'm not gonna lie bro hypocrite activity right there prior ava was begging shadman to draw a girl from an anime very disturbing very odd don't do that and if i had a friend that i found out any of this stuff happened with uh, especially the shadman stuff i'd be like are you a sick like what can you explain it to me? So yeah, and the Shadman thing does absolutely make the Lava Ava stuff look substantially worse uh, in a vacuum. Now, furthermore though, back to Ava. Deleting yeah. all your tweets, bad idea. All Including right. The ones we discussed, it's a very bad look. Now, Twitter justice. Okay guys, let's talk about Twitter justice. The internet is a place of misinformation. There's so much going on all the time. There's allegations constantly. And over the last few days, allegations being brought against Ava it exploded everywhere and it's blasted all over Twitter. We've got Jake the Viking making state. This is why all of your favorite influencers are fake and have no backbone. Doc gets accused with talking inappropriately to a minor with no evidence. Everyone attacks him and runs his name through the mud. He loses sponsors, partners, everything before a drop of proof is presented. Chris had ag has actual proof screenshots, recordings, both audio and video, a confession from a victim and everyone who jumped. Doc is fucking silent. Where's the energy? Where's the roar? Where's the outroar? Everyone who hasn't said a word should be ashamed. Your soft and pathetic girl here. Facts, bro. Uh, this is what I was saying earlier in the video, bro. They're, why why is it why aren't they saying shit about 
why are they they say shit about Doc? Why did they say shit about uh, Ava or Chris? You know what I'm saying? Like it's weird, bro. It's weird, bro. Like they both did the same shit. They both did the same amount of weird shit. Both joked sexually inappropriately with minors, bro. They should both be banned from the fucking internet, bro. We got Sneeko making statements, wanting to get Ava locked up in jail, and then just a few weeks after arguing for the age of consent to be changed, bro. Make up your mind, you freak motherfucker. Also, check out this clip. Yo, just the craziest thing about Sketch is I'm seeing everyone's like, Sketch is one of the most genuine dudes ever. He's genuinely, I don't know what's the new Twitch word. He's genuinely one of the most genuine guys ever. No, he's not. He lied to you about his life. So by that basis of logic, I would assume that Sneak... Question, what is the best e-commerce business to start today? Is it drop shipping from China and selling on Shopify? Long delivery time. Go. You know, Sneako, you are a bitch, bro. You know, people can change, bro. Why are you going after gay and trans people, bro? Like, stay, stay out of this shit. Like, step, step to the side. Step to the side a little bit, bro. Like, dead ass, though, bro. You going after these people, but they are not even affecting your life. How about you live your life and let these, like, people live their life peacefully, bro? That's what needs to fucking happen. And furthermore, what, other, what else needs to fucking happen, right? Is the fact that people change. He don't he didn't have to tell you that he did all that before. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have to. He doesn't have to tell you nothing, bro. He doesn't have to tell, tell nobody what he did in his past life. What you guys are seeing on the internet is what he wants to present to you. He doesn't have to tell you nothing. Yeah, it came out. It ain't the end of the world, bro. And that's that's facts, bro. Begins his relationships by telling people he lets his girl. This fucking dude, you look like the guy who shot Trump, you know? I just don't like Sneeko. Anyways, we'll move on. So this whole thing gained a lot of traction over the weekend and the last two days. And people have uh, been coming out of the woodwork saying, uh, talking about their side of the story and talking about their interactions with Ava. One of the people who has come forward is Jake the Viking prominent ex-Mr. Beast employee, Jake Franklin. He used to be a member of the Mr. Beast crew. He appeared in numerous videos for about four months, and that was four years ago. Then he stopped appearing in Mr. Beast videos, and he made his own content. He put out a video explaining why he left. He's kind of been relatively quiet over the last couple years until the Ava situation blew up on Twitter, and it is known that Jake was not supportive okay. of Ava when uh, she first came out a year ago, so it has been no surprise that he has been tweeting nonstop about the current situation, okay. just like Nick Merckx and everybody did. The culture war side of this, I really have no interest in being a part of. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. A lot of people are like, you're a pussy, dude. Why are you such a pussy, dude? Why are you? Why do you have mutual respect for for people, dude? Fuck you, dude. You suck, dude. Uh, I'm trying to minimize the amount of harm that I do in the world. I'm trying to minimize it. Okay. And partaking in the culture war and, and and political nonsense makes me feel like I want to kill. So I'd rather be respectful and get shit on for being respectful uh, than you know anything else to be honest Thanks, bro. it makes me feel like i can sleep at night jake's first tweet talking about ava called her a bum and ever since has been so mr beast co-host went trans and abandoned his family to pursue a fetish it's been like what a year he's already getting outed for chatting with a 13 year old while in his 20s sending inappropriate messages he want to talk all that shit, but not look bum posting updates adding his own commentary to the situation now obviously important damn. to note he's covering the situation intensely because he has a lot to gain from the inten uh, attention from this you know the, the more people that split off from the mr beast camp and kind of take the side you know ava's disgusting let's you know jake the viking he seems like to know what he's talking about he's got a lot to gain so it makes sense but one tweet in particular has blown up and opened a new can of worms and twitter has okay. been running rampant with it on july 22nd 2024 jake tweeted jimmy knew implying that mr beast Jamie was knew. somehow complicit with ava and knew of her act now we don't know if he didn't know but if he did know this is fucked up this is even worse then i feel like he should take some of the blame if you know what i'm saying like not, not, not take the blame but he knew about it it's like it's kind of like party to a crime you're not gonna air out the business you're not gonna tell the police but once you got once one person gets caught then the person who, the people who knew about it should get party to the crime. You know what I'm saying? Like, not saying they should go to jail. Like, if Chris goes to jail, okay, no, they should not. That, that's different. They should just get, maybe, like, canceled along with them. If he did know, if Jimmy knew, 
then yes, that's what should happen. Because you shouldn't, like, that's fucked up, bro. Chinson still kept her around. So, since this, people have been running with the idea that Jimmy knew, and people have been going back through looking at Mr. Beast videos and his catalog, trying to find and prove this, but nothing so far concrete has come out aside from Mr. Beast being in a live stream, and Ava comes up and says the N-word. <laughs> just, just like, uh, uh, hello there, I'm from South Carolina, or North Carolina, or just says the hard R live on stream. That's so Southern, dude. And not even really, I mean, that's oh, like dumb. Fuck, she says N-word on stream. All people below oh, fuck. an imaginary line in with a racist or whatever, I guess. I'm not sure. The most that's come out in regard to the whole Mr. Beast, he knew thing is a, uh, a screenshot from a video in which Mr. Beast is seen looking at a Shadman poster hung up on Ava's wall. Uh, Admittedly, this photo does show that Mr. Beast had at least seen Ava's bizarre behavior, but like, I don't know if Mr. Beast gives a f about Shadman or knew the, the context behind it because I mean, it's perfectly reasonable. I don't believe Jimmy new or anything like that i don't think this is some big evil cabal i think that jimmy actually is a good guy yeah i don't no, believe that there too, has been anything i just hope that i just hope he didn't know that, bro. Uh, word is i really don't know that being said though jimmy and ava were roommates at the time so it's hard to believe that jimmy didn't know in some way but at the end of the day it's impossible to really know jimmy seems like he's very dedicated and focused on youtube and changing the world and Ava is not. Ava is focused on completely different things, very personal things. It would make sense to me if Jimmy had no idea. And that, you know, that, 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 that Jake and Ava and all this, they're just complete and total outliers. But yeah, if Jimmy knew, Jake probably knew too, right? I don't know. According to this boy named Dawson, he claimed to work for Mr. Beast for only a few months this year. And in this video, Dawson claims that Mr. Beast has known that Ava was, an, uh, Ava was a liability for quite some time, but cannot remove her from the team because she has threatened legal action and she apparently knows too much so i don't know there's no proof trust me bro and when all this information comes out about everything that she knew everything other people know i promise you on everything mr beast is done so far it's just a fun conspiracy oh mr beast is he's the eyes wide shut i don't know how much can you learn from working there for just a few months and i don't know uh, mr beast has been that. pretty public about defending ava it seems like on the twit on on the twit and after the sunny v2 video even which in my opinion was done poorly and i did defend ava in that video and you know knowing what i know now uh, and the whole Shadman thing i didn't do any research into that i wish i would have I would not have taken that stance, to be yeah. honest with you guys. I came at it from a basic human respect sort of perspective, and that is a naive, dumb perspective that I sort of regret. Also, people have been shitting on me on Twitter for not covering this. It takes me two days generally to make a video. Very rarely can I turn around one in 24 hours. We'll do our best, but it's probably not going to happen. And it's not because I don't want to talk about this. It's not because I'm trying to defend someone just because they're trans and I don't want to upset the LGBTQ community. I don't take sides i don't do anything like that guys i like people who are good people yeah and, that is the end of it. and if you like shad man you're not a good person if you have a wife and kid and you're talking inappropriately with minors you're not a fucking good person okay you don't have to be like these Oh, what? Fuck. By the way, yeah. while recording this video, Facts, Ava right? responded with a non-apology, which I love to see because it's not good. It's it's bad. It's a terrible uh, response to everything coming out. I'm glad there was a response, unlike Cody Ko. She apologized. I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best. I permanently step away. From all things, Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. Well, at least you're stepping away and... Uh, or did you step away? Hopefully we find out soon. For past behavior, comments, and announced that she would be permanently stepping away from anything related to Mr. Beast, which is good. And I guess Sunny V2 was totally correct. Well, not totally correct, but the title was correct. This was a mutually agreed upon decision. She'll be spending her time focusing on her family and mental health. Hey, focus on not buying stuff from Shadman. How about that? I want to add, I never groomed anyone the person. I want to add, I never groomed anyone the person who gets brought up the, in these re, uh, accusations. Lava GS, I've 
as vocally supported that they are false. The person who gets brought up in these accusations is Lava GS. They vocally supported that they are, are false. That is true, 110%. Lava spoken to him. I can guarantee you that. Having said that, I humbly apologize to anyone I have hurt with my unacceptable social okay. media posts, past actions, and to those who may feel betrayed by how I used to act online. To lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad, edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In past years, I've learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. I don't want these accusations to impact the hundreds of people who work. True. Okay. But also, weird. The response to this announcement is not positive. If you were offended anyone, that's a crazy start already. See, you never hope, you ne see, you never, hopefully, hope your ex-wife keeps you well away from that kid. Bro, you are disgusting and should be in jail forever. I told you so. If you are apologizing, they, if you are, apolog if you are, if you're apologizing, are you saying all of the allegations are true? Because that's what this statement appears to be suggesting. At first glance, with many people calling Ava yeah. or calling for imprisonment, okay. that includes your calls from people in within the LGBT community, okay. because there are reasonable people in any community. Being a part of any community doesn't just automatically make you that's unreasonable. Crazy, yeah, bro. man, I, I don't know. All these people saying, Jimmy knew. Did you not know? Like, this is so confusing and weird, and as with all of my videos, I'm excited to see your guys' responses down below. By the way, while this video is being edited... Over the last few days, I've become aware of the, of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online. And I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable behavior, or acts. During that time, I have been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any associations with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their findings. Okay. Well, good to see that Mr. Beast, good to see that Ava in her, in her apology, she was actually lying. In her apology, she said that she was, she wanted to step away. No, Mr. Beast said he fired her. So that's good. And I, Mr. Beast, hopefully he's a good dude. Um, and yeah, good for you know so and make her step away but did he make her step away because of the fact that she got caught on the internet or did he make her step away truly because Ava slash Chris was talking to a mind that might come out eventually we don't know a lot more stuff has come out <clears throat> and Mr. Beast responded and cut ties 100% with Ava Chris Tyson and said that there's going to be an independent party investigation into everything so that that's good Mr. Beast's response is five times better than Chris Tyson's response that, is, that for, is for sure in conclusion Ava Tyson is a degenerate and probably shouldn't be on the internet uh, or in any way at, interacting with minors or children to be honest uh, <laughs> you know Ava bust out the youth Make a real apology. Facts, Make a real yeah. apology. I'm going to focus on my mental health. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for today's video, man. Make sure if you guys want me to react to more advertising stuff, let me know down below. And until the next video, I'll see you guys and I am out.